Welcome back everybody to Jewett Guitars in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. And today I'm really excited to talk about the new line of guitars that we're introducing in 2021. This is the first guitar in this lineup and the lineup is called the Artist Series. And what makes these guitars different from a lot of the other guitars that I've built up to now is just a couple things. One, and this is the main one, we only use the absolute best or top of the line graded tops, backs, sides, and wood for the necks. All the, all the woods and all the hardware, everything is all top of the line. It's just the best of the best. The second thing that makes this a little bit different is that these guitars are primarily targeted towards the finger style player. Now, that doesn't mean that they'll take kindly to a flat pick, but they are engineered pretty much by myself to favor a finger style guitars. And because of that, what we really do with these guitars is we pay a lot of attention to the shape of the neck, which is what really, really uh, finger style guitarists will key in on when they pick up a guitar to play. The other thing that we do with these guitars is we really focus on getting the bracing to push the sound of the guitar to a very balanced type of mid-range. Um, it's got nice trebles, good fat trebles, and a decent bass, but it's not an overpowering bass like you would find like on a dreadnought or a bigger body guitar. It's a very balanced response. And typically what we do to achieve that is we pay a lot of attention to the bracing. And if I have to, I will double voice the guitar, meaning I'll voice the soundboard as it's being made before it's applied to the back and sides, and then I'll voice it again afterwards. This particular guitar is really one of the nicest guitars I've ever played. And I'm not saying that just because you know, I made it. And quite frankly, luthiers are probably the most critical judges of their own work. But this guitar has a sweet voice. I've just not heard with any other guitar that I've made. And it's probably due to a couple things which I'm going to talk about in a sec. But let me go over some of the features of this particular model. This is a double O size and it's also a Florentine cutaway. And you usually don't see a double O size in a Florentine, but for me, and I'm kind of a small person, this is a very comfortable guitar. It fits just perfectly to my body. Um, I really just don't feel like it's being pushed too far away from me, or my arm doesn't get hurt when it's resting on it. And, uh, it just, it just feels right. This guitar, being a double O, has a short scale, a 24.9 scale length. And that gives you a little bit less tension on the strings and really makes finger style playing, particularly up high, really nice to do. Let me just start at the top and I'll talk about everything from kind of the way on down to the bridge here. First of all, I've got a nice black wood peghead overlay that's inlaid with a mother of pearl Jewett logo and a little bit of cat eye and diamond mother of pearl inlay to complement it. I've also got, as I always do on all my, most of my guitars at least, but on all the artist models, you will find as a default one and three quarter inch bone nut and down here two and one quarter inch bridge spacing. I've got on this one Goto Ebony. Uh, no, excuse me. On this one I have Waverly tuners and the back of this is Brazilian Rosewood, the back strap or the uh, overlay that we put on the back of the guitar. To complement this, I've got an ebony fretboard, ebony bridge, 
bone saddle, as always, and bone pins. And the top of this is absolutely top of the line Adirondack red spruce. And it's very, very clean, very straight grain, and just is one of the nicest looking pieces of Adirondack spruce I've ever put on a guitar. And to complement that spruce, I've got some very, very pretty flame maple. And this is stained to kind of like a light, well, caramel color, I'll call it. And it just really looks nice against this nice, clean Adirondack spruce top. The bindings on this are ebony. They're not synthetic ebony or ebano or rock light or whatever you want to call it. We used real ebony on these. And boy, I'll tell you, building a cutaway with real ebony is a challenge. Uh, very simple purfling, black, white, black purfling line that goes all the way around and very clean miters up here around the Florentine cutaway. On the heel of this guitar, I removed a lot of wood here, or not a lot of wood, but more wood than the other side. And it makes it a lot easier to get your hand in there on the cutaway and also feels very comfortable. couple other things very briefly, a very simple abalone rosette. Um, I've got a, uh, a very small kind of position markers here on the fretboard. They're three millimeter dots. And of course, I have the position markers on the fingerboard edge up until the 12th fret. So I think we've pretty much covered everything on this guitar. And once again, it is a new guitar. It's in the lineup for 2021. You'll expect to see this guitar on the website or maybe in a local guitar shop soon. Anyways, let's give this thing a listen. Thank you. 